In this video of Express, we are going to have a look in the middlewares. Middleware is basically a very important concept of Express which ensures the processing of some particular thing before the final request is being processed. For example, if you are making a request for any web page of a web application and I want to ensure that cookies should be functioning before that request so I can add that cookie thing in the middleware which will ensure the application of cookies before the final request is being processed. You can also add the number of middlewares in a web particular express application which will do all the implementation in a proper chaining in a series. For example, if I want to add the session management in your express application and want to ensure like before the sessions your cookies must be set. So we can do the chaining thing here like first of all we'll do the cookie parser thing or cookies implementation in the middleware and then after I'll do it for the session. So in the sequence you will do the uh, middle you will add the middlewares in the very same sequence it will keep on executing. Whenever you will define a function for a middleware it takes three arguments that is the request object, response object and the next pointer which will point out to the next function of this middleware series. So let's see practically how the middleware needs to be implemented. So here let's find the implementation of middleware in this program what I have done I have started it like any other express application but after that once I have defined this app I have invoked this use method. Inside this I have passed a callback function which will be used as the callback as the middleware function which will be invoked before the final request is being processed. So as I said earlier request response and next are the three arguments which I have passed inside and whenever this middleware will be in action in the console I'll get a message a request a new request received. So the question is when this method will be called as I have not specified any particular page right here so whenever you will make a request for your application with your application for any particular page this middleware function will be invoked and for the chaining thing at last I have in, I have invoked this next method. In this application, in this program particularly, I don't have any other thing to do but even though I have invoked this for a good practice. So let's start the server and see the output in the browser. So here node app.js the server started as I haven't passed any message right here. Let's come to browser and here I'll make a request like localhost 3000 that is the port number. Here I'll not get anything because I have not sent anything to the browser but if I'll come to the console you will get a message a new request received. So again if I'll make an enter I'll get another message. So this is about the middleware thing. Now if you want to pass a middleware function for a particular page only we can do that as well. Like in this program what I have done is I have used this use method with a particular page that is the page name is page for me you can put any page name as per your requirement and right after that I have again done the very same thing that is passing a callback function with request response and next parameters. Again I have sent a message on the console and whenever you will make a get request for this page you will be getting this message on the browser and this message on the console that is this use method will be processed before this request so this use method this console message will be sent first and then after by this next this particular request will be processed so let's see again you have to restart your server and once you have done that we are good to make a request on the browser so let's make a request as you see I didn't get anything because I made it for the page so as soon as I do that did that this my page the message I'm getting on the browser and if I'll come to the console a request for page received all right so this is how you can plan your middleware for a specific page only but now if you want to chain or if you want to call the series of methods in a particular sequence how we can do that let's see that so as in this program First of all I have done a use method I have passed a use method without any particular page 
uh, name that is for all the requests the second use method for the home page if you want you can make this also for the home page or any specific page uh, so what will happen whenever i'll make a get request for the home page what it will do first of all it will call this method why because i have passed it before this one so it will be called and it will send a message start on the console and then by this next method this particular method will be invoked at it is the next in the series again in a very similar way what it will do is function request response that is again what i'll have to do uh, next obviously and after that we'll have to call this next here as well so what it will do after this middleware function this method will be invoked and right after this this get request will be processed so here i'll put some different message like home page all right so start end and here home page so let's see how the output will look like and as i said always you have to restart your server and now let's make a request for the home page so i got a message home page right here let's see console here i got start end which means that the middleware function got invoked in a particular series only now let's see one more implementation for the middleware as in this particular program i am using two files that is route.js and app.js so first of all let's have a look in the route.js in here i have done the router thing like first of all what i'll do is express.router i have called this particular method for doing the routing thing and uh, just because just uh, by this router object whenever i'll make a get request for the home page it will send a message on the browser page so and after that as always i am calling this next so what i have done i have exported this router object so that i can consume it in some another express application and that is what i have done here in this app.js where once i got this app object here uh, what i have done i have included this router.js make sure in this example as i have done app.js and route.js both are in the same location if you are putting it in different location just make sure you are passing the correct path right here and here what i have done i have included this route.js and i have passed the reference in the route and i have used that as the uh, callback function rather than calling the callback function i have passed it here and which will be behaving here as the middle where thing whenever you will make a request for this page so let's see how we can get the output how we can see the output so as here you will see that i am sending this message on the browser so i should get that so let's restart your server all right server started let's come to the browser and here i'll make a request with this page so what i got the message get route on page so this is how you can plan your middlewares how you can do it in a series call how you can uh, make the specific uh, how you can get the middleware in a specific page call and how you can do the export things using the middleware in our coming videos we will use some predefined functions in the middleware and we'll see how we can achieve those functionalities